typically all these rooms are used for training, blood drives, and meeting space. Right now we're doing what's called just-in-time training. Instead of going online to register to volunteer, you can come here and we'll register you here okay. as a volunteer. We'll take you through um, orientation, shelter fundamentals, so you can train to be a volunteer to work in a shelter. Once you register, okay. we get you in the system, you go through the background check. Okay. So it provides lots of opportunities that we definitely need volunteers right now. We can't do this alone. We've got a number of community partners who are accepting in-kind donations on our behalf and using them in shelters. Mm -hmm. um, and they're also doing other things with the donations, obviously. Okay. So we are asking the public to make a contribution financially. That's what helps us the most. Our Disaster Operations Center is where we take everybody that, that's every division is engaged in this in one room all at once. Normally it'd be office here, office there, office someplace else. Bring everybody in so they're in one center and you can call, hey, hey Joe, what about the shelter in there? Hey Mary, what about the feed and the, the lunch for tomorrow's, you know, whatever. So we bring everybody in, government affairs, finance, um, staffing. So this is our, um, what we call regional warehouse. During normal disaster times in Draper, we call blue sky. This is a use for um, disasters that happen all across the, the region, which are primarily home fires, multi-family home fires. So oftentimes we're even canteening for the first responders through our, through our support. About 200 of our um, emergency response vehicles are being deployed. That's half of the country's emergency response vehicles are actually deployed to the disaster. Typically what happens, um, during blue sky days, you won't, this won't be, it'll be empty. Everybody will be in their offices doing their, their daily job around disasters and, and other activities. But during times of the disaster, obviously it's much more effective to get everybody in one room so you're not running around trying to find them. So that's really what this is all about. It's staffing, it's government affairs, it's finance, it's, it's uh, feeding, it's shelter management, it's logistics, it's health service, it's everything you can imagine around the disaster that we're managing, okay. that people who are, who are sort of heading that up are typically are working it or in this room. We're trying to get people in the safety um, and shelter them and bring into a place where they can where they can be safe and they can be you know warm and they can be dry and they can have uh, food. Right. You know. Um, then eventually after after the recovery continues, people then go back into their homes. Diane, on behalf of all the Fort Change Energy customers, we'd like to present you this check in support of Hurricane Harvey and really everything that we can do to help with supplies and with the displaced yeah, volunteers, volunteers yes. yes. So um, thank you for allowing us to come here and present this check to you. And we are so grateful for these gifts that they come in because it's going to be a long-term recovery effort. And uh, this means the world to us. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.